my honor. Nurse Anne, she will make your understanding about your different subject matter simple and fun to learn. So let's first discuss about the COVID-19. What is COVID-19? Co is stands for Corona, V for the virus, and D for the disease. While the 19 is because coronavirus disease was first discovered in Wuhan, China last December 2019. So that's how the WHO derived its name, which is COVID-19. According to WHO, it is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. And the latest number of cases worldwide is already 3.3 million, with 234,000 deaths and 1.04 million recoveries. How it can be transmitted? Mostly it's via droplets. It is when the infected person coughs or sneezes near you and it enters your respiratory tract either via your mouth, eyes, or nose. Second is the indirect contact. It is by touching or holding something that was contaminated by the virus. Most common examples are doorknobs, handrails, switch, or anything that can be touched in public places that is already contaminated by the infected person. Lastly, we have the direct contact is by holding the contaminated hands of an infected person, like for instance, the shaking of hands. Incubation period. What is incubation period? It is the time between acquiring the virus or when it already entered your body to the beginning of having symptoms. According to WHO, the incubation period of coronavirus from the time of exposure and being symptomatic commonly start around 5 to 6 days, but can range from 1 to 14 days. That's the reason why they require everyone who came outside the country that is already infected by the virus to perform self-quarantine for about 14 days. Okay, let's now proceed to the most important topic. It is the chain of infection. After simple understanding of the coronavirus, we will now proceed to understand how the chain of infection works. It is for us to be able to know how to prevent the spread of this highly contagious virus. Under the chain of infection, we have the following. Infectious agent, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and susceptible loss. While discussing the following, we'll just focus on the coronavirus. Infectious agent, the pathogen that causes diseases. Reservoir, the place where the infectious agent lives and multiplies. Portal of exit, it is the way of the infectious agent to leave the reservoir. Mode of transmission, it is the way of the infectious agent to be transferred. Portal of entry it is the way of the infectious agent to enter a new host. Susceptible host, it can be any person. Okay, so we will now focus on the coronavirus. Infectious agent for the coronavirus, obviously it's a virus. Reservoir, human reservoir. And on dirty surfaces and equipment, that is contaminated by the infected person. Portal of exit, mouth, and or nose. Mode of transmission, droplets, and objects that is contaminated by the infected person. Portal of entry, via respiratory tract, mouth, and or nose. Susceptible host can be any person.
Now that we understand the chain of infection, we can now start to learn how to break it. In this way, we can prevent the spread of this deadly virus. Since it is a virus, we can prevent it going to the reservoir by cleaning, disinfection, and sterilization. We must observe a clean environment. Disinfect the things that usually brought outside the house and the most commonly touched objects inside the house. Proper sterilization must also be observed in the healthcare facilities. For the portal of exit, we can break the chain here by doing proper hand hygiene for 20 seconds, using soap and water, or use an alcohol-based hand rubs if you are outside your house. Respiratory etiquette is also important. This is by covering your mouth and nose while coughing or sneezing. And do proper waste disposal. The use of personal protective equipment is also important. This is for the safety of the healthcare workers. For the mode of transmission, proper hand hygiene for 20 seconds using soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand rubs if you're outside your house is also very vital. Same also with the PPEs or the personal protective equipment for our healthcare workers. Cleaning, disinfection, and sterilization also will prevent it from transferring to other person. And the other one, we have the isolation of infected patients. In the portal of entry, same proper hand hygiene also. Same also with the PPEs. And then we have to maintain a distance of 2 meters or 6 feet. Avoid touching your nose, mouth, and eyes. You can do this after doing a proper hand washing. This is to prevent the entry of the virus. For the susceptible host, we can at least prevent it here by staying at home and help healthcare workers to do the proper health education. Fun facts about coronavirus according to the World Health Organization. This is just to clear everything about the coronavirus and to prevent fake news. Number one, it cannot be transmitted through mosquito bites. It is clear in our discussion earlier, it is only be transmitted via droplets or touching the contaminated objects and then you accidentally put it into your mouth, nose, or eyes. Number two, spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body will not kill viruses that have already entered your body. Since it is already inside your body, you need to seek medical care prevent its transmission through isolation, and you should boost your immune system for you to be able to win against it. For 3, 4, and 5, it's almost the same thing. It states here that cold weather and snow cannot kill the coronavirus. Number 4, exposing yourself to the sun or to temperatures higher than 25 degrees Celsius does not prevent the coronavirus disease. Number five, it can be transmitted in areas with hot and humid climates. For number three, four, and five, there is nothing to do with the weather. As of this moment, there is still not enough evidence or studies that hot or cold climate can kill the virus. Number six, most of the people who catch COVID-19 can recover and eliminate the virus from their bodies. Once you recover, the virus will not stay in your body anymore. But you can still be infected again by the infected person. Number seven, being able to hold your breath for 10 seconds or more without coughing or feeling discomfort does not mean you are free from the coronavirus disease or any other lung diseases. For now, we only have one confirmatory test and holding your breath for more than 10 seconds will just put you in trouble. Lastly, 
Drinking liquor or alcohol does not protect you against coronavirus and it can just increase your risk of health problems. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want Nurse Anne to discuss something related in your nursing subjects, just feel free to leave a comment. See you in the next video!